If the future of education is going to be online, should there be a need for a big building? Should there be a need for teachers, professors, headmasters, head teachers, cleaners, desks, blackboards, chairs, classrooms? Where everything that we study, we have been constantly improving and improving and improving and improving. We've improved so much that all of our jobs that we felt and we thought that was secure, like engineering jobs, like computing jobs, clerical jobs, medical jobs, lawyers' jobs, are been pretty much centralized or been centralized to one big computer. The need for education with the old method that what we have learned so far is to improve the method and the programs that we currently use. So in effect, the cars that we designed first they were bulky, heavy, slow, and heavily polluting. Today, with knowledge, enhancing technology, incorporating technology and science, we have so much so produced cars that are driverless, fully self-sufficient and self-driven, highly efficient and light in weight and faster and more efficient and incredibly safe since we built on technology and sensors, automation, so just think about, instead of paying your child to go to a private school, to the best school, to the best university, only to be learning what will be automated or computerized, or the job will be phased out. Instead, why don't we create a human society who can completely think out of the current values, the current education, the current model of human society and the education that we have. Just think about what you can produce, not how to be able to use, but how can we actually use our knowledge to empower and free every human being from enslaving themselves because of money. Just think about that. It is an enormous possibility for us. It's an enormous step forward from our old models of education. So talking about streaming, just like your social media, just like your Netflix, just like your Mickey Mouse movies, if the university is going to stream, your high school and junior high school and colleges are going to stream and yet charge you thousands and thousands of dollars and pounds and 
all kinds of fees for your education. Is it really reasonable? And is it worth paying those amounts where everybody can today learn from by speaking to a artificial voice, asking questions that when you come stuck with, even finding your legal right, finding your political right, finding your political movement, finding all the information you wish on your palm today. A smart gadget has outsmart the human brain. There are machines on the planet that can calculate, separate, divide, and have faceted transactions in a millisecond. No group of people, no group of academics are able to process that many transactions. No matter how much you know, there is no and there is enough accumulated human knowledge to beat the computer, beat the machine. <laughs> is it the machine taking over? No, the machine has no interest in taking over. The machine has more power to process transactions that humans are unable to. Let's hope that humans will open up their genius soon.